My next upload for today is with regard to health and well-being and um, the matter of um, medicine and the matter of psychiatry and the representatives of those fields of uh, work that have not been um, of good practice and that have been assistance to treason and hate crime. So this situation that I'm experiencing has commenced um, since 2015 and um, there is a mentality that I'm not exactly au fait with and that I'm not exactly um, in favour of when individuals try to abuse their um, qualifications and their positions in the field of psychiatry and medicine to assist in offences against a married mother of um, Regent's Law and Royal Patronage. So um, there are individuals um, whose mentality has been to repeat a circumstance in history, fado fado in Irish history, there was a circumstance that is um, well known and that um, individuals are trying to cause a repetition of um, with uh, spurious and unsubstantiated falsified information. So this is um, quite unusual, um, but this is highlighting from my perspective as a property owner and a married mother qualified professional the um, incessant abstinence of individuals um, still pursuing um, a circumstance repeating a situation um, that is highlighting a mentality that isn't healthy. So um, for those individuals that have a mind block it's called brain lock. They're fixed on a very um, unattainable situation and regardless of the circumstances being a hazard to other people's lives, um, as has been proven since they commenced, they have been hazardous to other people's lives. Um, their mind lock, brain lock, has them fixed on property and that property isn't within their realm of possibilities in any legal situation. Um, they have also fixed themselves on an objective of obstructing a mother from being a mother. And they have incessantly repeated their offences and that's known, as Einstein said, insanity. So um, I'm very concerned about the mental processes of these people that are repeating their offences and that are repeating um, negative consequences in society that are harmful um, during this stage of world history. So as a qualified professional, those that aren't respecting the laws that be, those that aren't respecting privacy, that aren't respecting royalty, those that aren't respecting women and children's rights are um, not serving the greater good and um, as much as false information is presented however many more obstructions of justice however many more offences are caused it doesn't repair the past and this brings into the present the Vergangenheitsbewältigung and the Vergangenheitsbewältigung is from the past a certain experience that has occurred and that we heal from. Now what has happened in this situation is these people have not learned to heal from the situations they're causing and they're making these situations worse with a fallacy. Um, these people that have been highly insulting to the field of psychiatry and medicine and that have disrespected their professions, their studies, their role in academia, their role and their oaths um, have not served the greater good when trying to assist a vendetta of hate crime or treason against a qualified professional. Um, the slander is quite serious. The um, publicity is distasteful. The publicity has been really distasteful and it hasn't been um, respectful of um, communications let's say and um, they have obstructed and broken down communications where there should have been a process so as there hasn't been due process 
those individuals that are incessantly and obstinately intruding upon me without addressing their reparations that they owe me um, are not legally within any remit. Um, my current abode has been affected by these people with, um, as I've said, developments that have not been in any contract. Um, I live on my own. This is officially an emergency accommodation due to individuals that were trespassing on my property since 2016. And the relevant authorities have all been made aware of these matters. So um, I'm very concerned about repeat offences occurring for um, those that would have integrity and respect and um, good standards of professionalism for their roles that they uphold and the individuals that compromise those roles with uh, poor practices, with poor information and um, with defamation of character, reputation and good name of this person, Maria McElligot. So um, there hasn't been um, any relevance to the um, situation I'm referring to in the past that these individuals culprits have um, been perpetuating in their own little agenda. Um, in the greater scheme of things, um, the individuals that have been trespassing and intruding and trying to recreate a situation from the past are individuals that I would have a concern for. Um, especially with regard to disrespecting my ancestry, my family unit and of course my um, my achievements and accomplishments. So as I'm of legislation also, um, these individuals have really overlooked um, the relevance and irrelevance of the factors at play. So there are irrelevant factors and there are very pertinent factors that have a very huge demonstrable um, impact on the future progress and those that are in their agendas bringing people down to serve their egos while um, gaining from my good work um, are not bringing themselves to a point of elevation for uh, their own accomplishments or acquisitions. So um, they say the only time you should be looking down on a person is when you're helping them up. And um, as a advocate, an advocate and a humanitarian, that's one of my principles and policies. And as a teacher, I've helped many people up and I'm very proud of the students that I've taught. I'm very proud of their progress. I'm very proud of the young people that I've taught that have become fantastic adults. So those individuals that have tried to uh, negate, disrespect and defame my good work I have huge concerns for them, considering their past offences uh, since 2006. So I would appreciate the relevant humanitarian agencies um, really, really realising um, the vanity of this situation of individuals of publicity, controversy, falsehoods and fallacies and I would also appreciate the representatives of medicine and psychiatry addressing the obstinance of individuals that are of repeat offences and that are not um, respecting the human rights declaration basically. Um, my private abode has been awfully affected and um, my property has been awfully affected as well. So. The right to family, correspondence, private life, family life, that's another factor of the declaration that's been damaged in this vendetta of treason and hate crime. So um, not any of the practices have been of good practice and the credibility now of the representatives causing these offences um, is doing damage untold but yet of public knowledge um, for what they have uh, discriminated against and for what they have disrespected. So um, those that have no regard for family of European Union citizens, um, it's a sad sign of the times. And I'd appreciate the professionals that are assisting offences against the state and royal patronage to be um, in a position of resignation for um, offences against my bloodline and heritage and sacred royalty.